This is the first episode of a series of screencasts for using 320 from the ground up. In this first screencast, we're going to cover building 320 for the first time. Let's start by grabbing the 320 code from the GitHub Facebook repository. Go to github.com slash Facebook slash 320 and select the URL in the center of the page because we're going to need that for the next step. With the git URL in hand, let's go ahead and clone the 320 repository. Open up your terminal and navigate to whichever folder you use to store all of your iOS projects and run the command git clone and then paste the URL. Once you hit enter, it will take a little while to clone the repository, so go ahead and check out Hacker News for a second. Now that you have 320 checked out locally, let's go ahead and create your first project. Open your copy of Xcode and select new project from the file menu and we're going to be creating a window based application make sure it's an iPhone application and click choose and I'm gonna title it intro and just hit save and then we're good to go this part should be pretty familiar to anyone who's created an iPhone app before uh, there's nothing fancy going on here we're basically just creating the standard iPhone app as we normally would let's go ahead and build this app make sure it builds and install it on the simulator now that we know the app builds fine, let's go ahead and add 320 to the project. I'm going to stop the simulator from running before we move on to the next step because we're going to use a command line tool called ttmodule to add 320 and its dependencies to our intro project. So let's go back to the terminal. I placed 320 in the same root folder as the intro project, but you can really place it wherever you want. Let's just make sure everything's looking good here. We can see that we have the intro project and 320. The TT module script lives within the 320 folder. So let's go ahead and start typing out the command we're going to need in order to add 320 to our project. To begin, the TT module script is a Python script. So we'll type Python and then 320 source scripts tt module.py. If we go ahead and just run this, we'll get a little help script that uh, tells us how to use the script in more detail. We can see some examples here, quick preamble about what exactly the script is for, and then also the available options. We'll explore this script in more detail in a future screencast. For now, let's just go ahead and bring back what we just typed by pressing the up key. And we're going to add 320 to our intro project that we just created. So to begin, we need to tell the script which project we want to be modifying. So we type dash p, and then I name the project intro, so intro slash intro dot xcode proj. And that's all we need to type for the project name. You'll notice I typed the full dot xcode proj path to the project. This is because the script needs to know the exact name of the project that we're going to be modifying. Now that we've specified which project we're going to modify, let's tell the script which module of 320 we want to add. In this particular example, we're just going to go ahead and add the entire 320 library. So type the word 320. Hit enter, and the magic will be done. If there were any errors, it will output them to the console. No output is good. Now that we've added 320 to the project, let's go back to Xcode and see what sort of changes were made. Right away you'll notice that Xcode prompts you to update the project because it was changed externally. Let's go ahead and read it from the disk. Now we can check out all of the things that were added. So to begin with, let's expand the groups and files and the targets here, and the intro target. And the first thing you'll notice is that a bunch of dependencies have been added. So 320 UI common, navigator, course, network style, and 320 itself. Uh, let's also expand the framework section. And you'll notice that all of the 320 Xcode projects have also been added here. This is just so that we can uh, specify which library we want to link to in the linker build phase. And that's basically all of the file modifications that have been made to the project. Now let's check out the modifications to the active target. Click the project menu item and then select edit active target and then whatever your project name is and we're going to look at the build tab and scroll down or filter by other linker flags you'll notice here that the dash objc flag has been added uh, just obj c it's kind of awkward to say 
Uh, this is necessary because 320 uses a number of categories, and without this, you'll get a uh, linker error. So let's go ahead and try building the project now. Make sure that everything works uh, out of the box. So I'm going to hit Command B, load up the build output here. And you'll notice that the first build of 320 will take a little while, but all subsequent builds will be really fast. So we'll just let this run. Now that the project is finished building, let's go ahead and run it in the simulator again. Uh, nothing really changed other than adding 320, so we're doing this mostly just to make sure it still runs and it looks like it does. This completes the first screencast for 320 from the ground up. We covered the basics of getting 320 from GitHub, adding it to a new project, and looking through the project settings that were modified to get 320 up and running. Thanks for watching this 320 screencast. Be sure to follow 320 on Twitter for more information or go to 320.info to get the latest updates and news about 320 as it's released.